Hey everyone, Thorn and Smash here, and man, did we get a lot of patch notes yesterday for Season 16 with a full look at the gameplay, and today we're going to break down some of the information and also some stuff coming right around the corner that you probably are not aware of yet. We're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. But without further ado, let's start breaking down Season 16. So there seems to be a major concern going into Season 16 that a lot of players are concerned that this is just going to be a filler season because some of the legends didn't receive major buffs or nerfs, and when you actually look at the patch notes, this couldn't actually be further from the truth most of the legends received complete reworks there is actually a revenant one in the near future that we talked about but in addition to that we have a brand new game mode called tdm we also have control and gun run coming into as a permanent playlist we have a brand new weapon called the nemesis the firing range has received massive updates and overall they're doing a lot of brand new things now to be completely fair there is a little bit that we should be concerned about one of the major ones is the fact that there seem to be no major rank changes coming in season 16 but they are evaluating ranked and there will be stuff coming in the year 2023 the only major thing they actually did was the fact the maps will rotate every 24 hours. The maps for this season are Broken Moon, Storm Point, and World's Edge. But interestingly, when they actually say that, there is something on the first split blog post where they talk about the maps for the first split being World's Edge, Storm Point, and Broken Moon, and that's officially by EA, meaning that there should be a second split, and maybe we see Olympus at that point. But it is kind of confusing because due to one of the EA blog posts, it appears that the season is only going to be about 59 or 60 days long. Now, this could just be a typo or they got the wrong image, but it would make sense due to the fact that season 15 was so long and there just wasn't a lot of content in it. It also lines up with the fact we actually got a roadmap and there are four events. The anniversary one, Imperial Guard, Sun Squad, and Veiled, which seems to fit within that 60 day time frame because this will go all the way until April. And then it'll go right into season 17 with Ballistic, which they have planned ready to go. But a lot of people are concerned about the fact that there doesn't seem to be any major map changes. Now, when we look at the UI interface that was already put out by Alpha Intel, we see the giant chibi balloon behind Lifeline and we've known about this for a while, I talked about how World's Edge will have these around, and the Mirage Voyage POI will actually be available on all Storm Point, Broken Moon, and World's Edge, and it will be in the game for the entire season. So that is somewhat of a map update. The other one people were hoping to see was something with Fragment. Now it's important to note, this is a leak I received back in December 7th, I made public, and pretty much everything on it has been 100% accurate. At number 7, TDM is coming, number 4 is Hardcore Battle Royale releasing, number 9, Ballistic in Season 7, accurate, number 10, new loot boxes for Assault Class, accurate, number 11, support all get bonus items and blue boxes like lifeline accurate number 12 skirmisher can see with care packages accurate 13 control is replacing arenas which is true because it will be control tdm and gun run 14 duo mode competing for cutest couples valentines accurate and the 15 is the heat wave ltm which we actually saw in one of ea's blog posts now the number one thing on that list is world's edge changes fragment would be updated and the streamer building would be gone from my understanding is 100 still going to be happening it's just not going to be happening at the launch of season 16 so i would expect to see this at some point in the season along with some other changes that were mentioned there such as storm point Regardless of that though, I don't know how anyone can be that upset about all the new stuff we're getting. The firing range update alone would be enough for me because this is something we've been wanting for a very long time, just being able to go into the firing range and practice. And that's not the end. Apex Legends is planning a lot of other things. One important thing to note, there will never be an Apex Legends 2 and they have about 20 years more of content that they want to add to this game. And it's going to be starting majorly with this year as they went on to say that there will be big sweeping changes coming to the game within the whole year in regards to legends, maps and modes, progression, ranked. There's not an area where they're going to be standing still Speaking of that progression, we did actually get an update on cross progression where the director said we're definitely excited about cross progression coming. It was trickier than we expected and we want to make sure it's ready. You only get one crack at rolling this out. I don't have a definitive date, but it's definitely coming. And I'm going to be honest, it's great to hear some kind of news update, but this is literally what they say every single year, almost word for word exactly the same. I do think it is going to be coming this year, but I would expect a much later time frame. It was actually ready in season 12. Vias 12 actually got confirmation from an EA insider slash play tester, and I can confirm this, that it was going to come out. However, what they had was account switching where you would switch from one account to another, but still having the items on different accounts, not account merging, which is what everyone wanted. And when they actually saw the backlash of how everyone reacted, they pulled back. And I think that when it actually does finally come out, it may actually be account merging, which is why it's now taking so long. Let me know down below, are you excited for this upcoming season? What other changes do you want to see come at the midpoint? And how do you feel about the future of Apex Legends? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.